Hello my friends and welcome to the hardest video that I will ever film. In case you missed it, at the end of 2021, I decided to do a roundup of my favorite skincare brands and Beauty of Joseon did take the number one spot. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun to do a video of the best and worst of Beauty of Joseon? Well, that is a lovely idea, except the reason that I chose Beauty of Joseon as my favorite brand is because I genuinely do not think they have a product that is just bad, not well done, mediocre. So how do you do a best and worst if you don't think any products are the worst? And I remembered when the ranking videos were at the height of YouTube, remember that time? I feel like it was a great time of YouTube because it kind of forced people to be maybe a little more opinionated than YouTubers necessarily prefer to be, right? So that's what I'm gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna be opinionated about my favorite brand. I'm also doing today's video with Stylevana, you know one of my favorite Korean beauty retailers. They did provide some of the products in this video, but not only to me, also to you, to five of you. In fact, that's right, we have a giveaway in this video. So make sure you stay to the end of this video so you can find out how you can be one of the lucky winners of this giveaway. And y'all know that really quick mandatory disclaimer we've got to do on an opinionated video such as this. This is, of course, only my opinions. No doubt I will have some amount of bias because every human being does. Did you know that if you think that you don't have bias, you are something called, and I am not making this up, biased biased. Give whoever came up with that terminology a gold medal, please. We all have some amount of bias. I am probably going to rank this as a person with dry skin. So just as a heads up, if you have oily skin, you may find that your list is inverted from mine, maybe. I think we might share some of the same top favorites. But you all let me know my comment section is always open and you do not have to agree with me. You can say nope, I absolutely disagree. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into my greatest moment of suffering ranking products from my favorite brand. We have 14 products to cover in this video and somebody's gotta be at the bottom of the list. Life pro tip, I feel like if you ever find yourself in this situation where you're gonna get ranked for some reason, volunteer to be last because then you can say, well, I'll never know if they would have picked me as last. I picked it. That's thinking with your noggin. Would you look at that? The Apricot Blossom Peeling Gel Volunteer to be number 14. How kind of it. I'll start by telling you a little bit about each product. So this is a true peeling gel. What that means is it comes out of the packaging kind of looking like just a basic cleansing gel. However, as you start to massage it into your skin, what happens is the, in this case, 8% cellulose within the product interacts with the oils in your skin to form these little, very soft balls of product and oil through which you get some gentle physical exfoliation. Now, it might not surprise some of you that I maybe chose this as my last pick because I have a lot of conflicted feelings on peeling gels, not the products at all, but the way that they are rather misunderstood in many circumstances. I've seen so many people throughout my life say that, oh, wow, when I use this cleanser, I can see so much dead skin coming off. But dead skin is invisible with the naked eye. It's product, it's doing what it's supposed to do. That is how it becomes a physical exfoliator. So I was thinking a lot about this and I have used peeling gels before. I've spent a lot of money on peeling gels before, but I just, cannot remember ever in my life finishing one of these products. I am pretty sure that even when I've spent 40 to $50 on this type of product, I've ended up giving them away. And in all truth, that's the reason why this is in last place is because in terms of creating a skincare routine, I don't see this type of product as a must have in the same way as sunscreen, basic cleanser, moisturizer. It's just kind of something that you might enjoy if you do enjoy this category, you might love this one because it is the best I've seen at its price point and it is also fragrance free, which is a difficult combination to find. So you see why this is gonna be such a difficult video, right? My very last product, I'm still over here saying, it might be the best in its category. It's just not my favorite category. 
Number 13 on this list might surprise you. It surprised me. I had to sit around and think about why this happened, but it is the Bubble Toner Green Plum and AHA, which total side note, I think that this might be being discontinued. It is no longer available on the Beauty of Joseon website, but I noticed it's still on Stylevana, so I figured I'd include it in today's video. What this is, is a toner that instead of pumping out as a liquid, it pumps out as a foam, which you can then massage into your skin as it delivers 3% glycolic acid, a very low level, but hypothetically a great daily level, as well as 25% plum. So way back when I first tried this product, I absolutely loved it. It is just so fun to use, and I felt like that 3% AHA level is perfect for me. I'm somebody who has a little bit more of a sensitive skin type. I do not want to use too much AHA. I just don't. But here's what's funny. I stopped using this product. Just stopped. That's it. So I had to sit around and analyze what happened. And what I came to realize is even though I'm cautious with AHA, I think I do prefer to use something that is a little bit stronger, but to reduce my frequency. So I'll only use a strong AHA product maybe once a week, as opposed to using a weak AHA product several times a week. I'm gonna throw a life tip into this video. It was actually really interesting for me to sit down and figure out how a product went from a favorite to just stopping its usage completely. And I realized, you know, I think that sometimes we buy a product when we're at one place in our skincare routine and then it evolves, our routine changes. And I think we might take some time catching up to figure out to stop buying for our old routine. Moving on to number 12, which I don't presently have, so I will just put a picture up. It is the Centella Asiatica Sheet Mask, and again, and again, it's not because I don't think this is a good sheet mask. It's actually one of the best sheet masks I've ever tried. It's Centella Asiatica, an amazing calming ingredient. The only reason it's going so low on my list is because I am personally trying to minimize my sheet mask usage, or at least to uh, buy the ones that are packaged in a box now. It's hard for me because I really like sheet masks and Beauty of Joseon's is incredible. But I'm trying. And now that I've started making my own sheet masks, I have realized, you know how sheet masks come with about an ounce of toner at least? I understand why now I'm going through toners so quickly making my own sheet masks. In the number 11 spot, do you remember earlier when I said I'm probably going to rank this as a person with dry skin? Yes, I admit that's what's going on with the Calming Serum. I think this is an amazing product, but the reality is I've had the same product, the same bottle, for uh, a while, a while at this point. But that experiment that I did with Eason Tree's Green Tea Serum, where I put it all along my scalp, the only part of me that is actually oily, it worked so well, I only stopped it because I started to worry that my hair was gonna fall out, because it's not made for hair, it's made for your face. But that was just my real moment of understanding the benefits of green tea, especially if you are somebody who deals with excess oil production on your face. See, what's so fascinating about green tea is that it regulates oil production within your skin, and yet it also acts as a hydrating ingredient. And the reason for this is because if you are an oily skinned person, you may feel that you are producing too much oil. Green tea will help you to produce the right amount of oil and also to stay hydrated. It's an amazing ingredient, but it's just not gonna do as much on my skin type, which is dry. And as a serum, this is the perfect texture for those of you who want your products to absorb quickly. All of that with 76% green tea extract as well as 2% panthenol. Beautiful product, especially for more oily, maybe combo as well, skin types. Let me know on that one. If you have combination skin, do you enjoy that product? Number 10 on my list. This is where it's really getting hard for me, by the way. The Radiance Cleansing Balm, which I truthfully think is an amazing cleansing balm. It is such a brilliant design in terms of the packaging. So what you have here is this lid lifts up to reveal your little scoop inside, and then you can unscrew the whole container, lift out the plastic portion, and get to the balm inside. 
brilliant design. This is one of very few fragrance-free cleansing balms on the market. It is, again, super affordable, like all of the products from Beauty of Joseon. But this is a preference thing. I've noticed that I prefer my cleansing balms to be a little bit more goopy in their texture. This one has that thicker consistency where you'll kind of need to warm it up between your hands before you apply it to your skin. And I think that I, I simply don't want to do that. I want to just throw it on my face and immediately have it get to working. This is a uh, kind of a new development for me though. You know, again, like I was saying earlier, your skincare routine does evolve and I found myself enjoying cleansing oils more lately, whereas cleansing balms, I had that year in 2021. I will still say though, it does travel better than the goopy type of cleansing balms. This is ideal for travel. Number nine, on my list, ah, uh, the Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. This is such a good cleanser and I have had such a struggle finding a cleanser that I enjoy. It feels like your standard gel cleanser. It does have a little bit of a foaming effect, but when you rinse it off, your skin does not feel dry. It does not feel stripped. It does not feel uncomfortable at all. It is truly a very well done cleanser. And if you can't already tell at this point, we are ranking my favorites even though we're towards the bottom of the list. Number eight on my list is the Ginseng Essence Water, which I have also called one of my favorite essences. Now, you might be wondering why it's a little lower on this list if I think it is a favorite. So let me explain with this one. You may be able to notice I am out of it. I filmed a clip for you barely with the remaining product here. And the thing is, I got to thinking about it and I said, am I going to immediately run out and repurchase this? And the answer is no. This is a really good hydrating product, but when it comes to ginseng, I've seen incredible results with ginseng, but particularly from higher end brands. You know what it comes down to? That question of, is a dupe worth it for you? Where I'm going with this is between this and the Doonginbi ginseng essence, I will buy the Doonginbi ginseng essence again. But that doesn't mean everybody should. If you are just looking for hydration, this is gonna be perfect for you. If you're looking for more of that restoring elasticity, more of the anti-aging type of benefits, it may be worth it for you to spend a little more on a ginseng product because ginseng is just that great of an ingredient. The more you concentrate it, the better your results will be. And I guess what I'm saying with this one is it's 80% ginseng root water, but we don't know how concentrated that is. So again, I think this is a great hydrating product. 2% niacinamide as well will help with evening out your skin tone. I'm gonna add into this video, if you are watching this as somebody under 30, please be aware that you do not need to spend a lot of money on anti-aging products, yet you haven't started Started to lose college in production. How many of you are watching this while in college? Do you ever think about how the reverse of in college is college in? Coincidence, I think not. I think that's actually where I'm going with this. If you are a younger person, this is gonna be all you need. If you are a bit more mature, 30 plus like myself, you may wanna splurge. Number seven on my list is the Revive Serum with 63% ginseng root water and 3% snail secretion filtrate. And it indeed is placed where it is for the same reasons that I was explaining with the ginseng essence water. This is a soothing serum. If your skin leans more dry, if your skin leans, uh, you know, more prone to irritation or inflammation, I think you're really going to enjoy this. At the same time, if you are looking for more uh, relief from the signs of aging, I think you might want to splurge a little more on specifically ginseng products. And if you're looking for a snail product, you might wanna go with something that is more concentrated in those snail ingredients. That said, I did finish off my first bottle of this remarkably quickly and I did enjoy it quite possibly because I do like ginseng and I do like snail mucin. So I think it really is a fantastic budget friendly option because no matter how much I say, you know, oh, go buy from the brand Suasu if you can, not everybody's gonna be able to afford that. So it's really nice that Beauty of Joseon offers products like this that are so all in one for such an affordable price. Number six on my list and the newest to my collection is the Ginseng Cleansing Oil. 
Y'all, I did not think I was going to enjoy this as much as I do, but here we are. I keep saying I really enjoy cleansing oils, and this is another really good one. This is a little bit on the thicker side, still not the most thick cleansing oil I've ever encountered, but on the thicker side. It works so well to remove makeup and skincare. You just apply it to dry skin, massage it into your skin, into the makeup and sunscreen, and then add some water. You will watch it emulsify, and you can just rinse all that down the drain. It contains 50% soybean oil, 0.1% ginseng seed oil. It isn't scented, but it does have a bit of a, a natural smell from the oils within it. Just very pleasant to use very enjoyable. Number six is the Dynasty Cream, and this has to be one of the most surprising ones to me. It is just such a gorgeous moisturizer. I feel like I've tried so many moisturizers in my life. Can you imagine how many moisturizers I've tried? Can you? Maybe some of you can. Maybe some of you can. It's a lot. At this point, I feel like, can a moisturizer really impress me? Well, this one did. First of all, gorgeous packaging on this one. It is beautiful, sturdy glass packaging. Also comes with a scoop. And it's kind of this uh, mid-weight of moisturizer. It's not too light. It's not too heavy. And this is very difficult territory to tread. I feel like this is that level that a lot of brands aim for, where they can say, it's for all skin types, but then ultimately it's really not. But I've seen those rare moisturizers that can work for all skin types, and I think this is one of them because it's just so well done. It feels so moisturizing. It is easy to buff into your skin. That's a pet peeve of mine. If a moisturizer is hard to buff into my skin, no thank you. But this one is just so effortless to apply. It leaves your skin feeling nourished and comfortable, and it contains 2% niacinamide and 2% squalane. Oh, this is where it's starting to get so exciting. Number four on my list is the Glow Serum with Propolis and 2% Niacinamide. The reason why I love this serum so much is that this is a product that really targets those of us who deal with acne. This combination of ingredients, niacinamide and propolis, is going to be fantastic for anybody who deals with inflammation. While simultaneously hydrating your skin, this one is such a thick product, and that is so nourishing. Just in terms of the way it feels, add to it the benefits from the ingredients. It is truly an amazing serum. As you can tell from my ranking, one of my favorites. And in all truth, I almost feel like it's best for me to just group these two together because they're such good complements to each other. So let's next talk about the Glow Deep Serum with 2% Alpha Arbitin. While the Glow Serum is made to kind of help you in restoring your glow if you're somebody who deals with acne or irritation, the Glow Deep Serum is made to help with any previous acne marks. It's kind of like the system here is during the breakout, after the breakout. Alpha Arbitin is an amazing ingredient for inhibiting hyperpigmentation. It actually is a tyrosinase inhibitor, so it is an amazing brightening ingredient. And in this serum, it is paired with rice. It's actually a more lightweight serum than the Glow Serum. It is a, a fast absorbing serum. It is truly a gorgeous formula. The reason I'm emphasizing the Alpha Arbitin is that this is an upgrade. It originally was just Arbitin, but Alpha Arbitin is 10 times stronger than Arbitin. So possibly these are so high on my list because of my skin type, but I really think if you are somebody who deals with acne, even more occasional acne, oh, this is such a good duo to have, and it won't even break the bank. Oh, it is getting so exciting now in the number two spot. Can you guess it? The Relief Sun SPF 50 PA++++ Sunscreen. Oh my goodness, this is a very hyped product, but for all the right reasons. For all the right reasons. This is a chemical sunscreen, but it is the newer generation of chemical sunscreen filters, which tends to be less irritating for most people. So even if you are like me and struggle with the US approved chemical filters, you still may be able to use this product. And oh, I hope you can because it is just not like using any US sunscreen. It is so gorgeous. It just disappears into your skin. Forget about having to deal with a white cast. All it does is leave your skin looking dewy, 
radiant, and it protects you with the maximum level of sun protection. It's an amazing sunscreen. If you want more information on this one, I actually have it compared to the Eason Tree in that video right there. Feel free to check that out. Beauty of Joe Sun does win though, just to kind of spoil that video a little for you. Now I know, I just know that some of you have figured out number one by the process of elimination. You have been wondering when this one was going to show up and lo and behold, you now know it is number one. And it is the Revive Eye Serum with ginseng and retinol. Retinol to hide at 0.02%, I finally found it on their Instagram account, 0.02%, which is an amazing, perfect level for the under eye area, but you can also use this all over your entire face if you so choose. It's like this, if this was a US sold product, this right here would be half the size and four times the price. I rest my case, you know it would be, you know it would be. Now I personally have only been using this on my under eye area. I've also been very conservative in the amount of applications I do with this. It's been about two a week so far, and yet I still feel like I've already seen an impact on my eye area. It is such an amazing product. Retinoids as an entire family are my favorites. I think everybody should try to use a retinoid if you can, if you're not pregnant, if it works out for you. And this is just such a smart choice. This is a newer product and I just feel like this is why I said Beauty of Joseon is my favorite brand. They're able to come out with products like this, like this, it is incredible. Are you all ready to talk about this giveaway and find out how you can win some Beauty of Joseon products? I will go ahead and put up on the screen all of the products that five of you will win. All you have to do to enter into this giveaway is comment below which of these products that you are most interested in trying. Make sure you follow Stylevana over on Instagram as well as Beauty of Joseon. I will have this information in the description box below. There are some hashtags to add into your comments so I can know that you are interested in entering the giveaway. And keep in mind this is open to all countries that Stylevana is able to ship to. I also highly recommend you leave your Instagram handle in your comment entering into this giveaway. It will be the easiest way for me to get in contact with you if you are the winner or one of the five winners. And make sure you take note of the official end date of this giveaway, which I will also have in the description box below. And that is it. That is the end of today's video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you agree with my list or you don't. A huge thank you again to both Stylevana as well as Beauty of Joseon for working with me and doing this giveaway for all of you. I am so excited. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.